Celtics hosting the Raptors, and the Celtics are two and a half point favorites. The over under is at 222 and a half. The Raptors are plus 115 on the money line. The Celtics are minus 135. Now, head to head, the home team is five and five. The Celtics have won the last three games they've played against each other. The Celtics are eight and two against the Raptors in their last ten. The underdog has covered the last four games. The underdog is seven and three against the spread, while the favorite is six and four on the money line. The under has hit in their last three games. The under is six and four in their last ten. And the over under at 222 and a half is five and five. The last game they played against each other, the Celtics beat the Raptors 97-93 in Boston. The game before that, they beat them 106-104 in Toronto. The game before that, they beat them 116-110 in Toronto. And the game before that, the Raptors beat them 115-112 in overtime in Toronto. So, as you can see, a lot of very, very close games that these teams play against each other. Now, in their last 10 games, the Celtics lost... Forgive me, the Raptors lost the last game that they played. They are... Six and four in their last ten, and they are one, two, six, three, and one against the spread. The under has hit in their last two games, and the under is six and four in their last ten. We have had a hundred and ninety points, two hundred and twenty points, two hundred and thirty-six points, and two hundred and twenty-seven points. The last game they played, which was against the the Celtics. They scored 93 points. The game before that, they scored 120. The game before, they scored 128. And the game before that, they scored 110. Now, for the Celtics, yet again, the last game they played was against the Raptors. They won their last game. They are 7-3 and three in their last 10. They've covered their last two games. And they are 7-3 and three against the spread. The under has hit in their last two games, although the over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. We had 190 points, 204 points, 236, and 239. The Celtics scored 140, 122, 101, and 97. 97 was what they scored when they played the Raptors the last time. Now, if no one's playing for the Celtics, I imagine that this is probably going to be another one of these low-scoring games, and I'm going to take the Celtics just because they're home. So I'm going to take the Celtics with the money line, the Celtics laying the points, and I'm going to go under because... Teams beating Boston in Boston is a very difficult thing. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.